Joined by Colorado's longest serving governor, Dick Lamb, who fought to keep the Olympics out of Colorado. It would have been the 76 games. So 40 years later, any regrets? Um, no regrets. I think that uh, the voters did the right thing. What do you make of our analysis that Colorado is not likely to get the Olympics, that as long as voters have a say on taxes and as long as the Olympics want taxes, the IOC is not going to risk coming here? Absolutely right. I think that the, um, you know, I, my reaction was only to the 1976 Olympics in 1972. I hate to think that I have forever killed the possibility of a Winter Olympics in Colorado because I support generally the concept of Olympics. But you're right. There's no way they're going to come back here when we have the ability to get citizen initiatives on the ballot and you've got the Tabor Amendment, you've got fi fiscal problems uh, running every which way. Uh, they're not going to seriously consider Colorado. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm a little bit sad about that. In your long career, you have brought attention to a lot of under the radar issues and you've been willing to say unpopular things to get people talking. That's one of the things we're going to try to do around here on, on next. What is the issue that Colorado is ignoring at its own peril these days? Probably our public pension system. Um, I think that the state of Colorado, under its PERA, is incredibly uh, indebted. Um, 26 billion, as I recall, in unfunded liabilities. Um, so I think that there's a whole series of uh, hidden liabilities that we're leaving our children that I feel very guilty about. You feel a personal liability. Yeah, I feel, you know, it's been, I got out of college in 1957, the world was my oyster, you know, the economy was growing, and it was all of these other things. But what we're leaving our children is a, a diminished uh, opportunities. My wife and I bought our first house for $11,900. My first house payments were $49 a month, P-I-T-I. And I just look at these, um, I think my generation has not been particularly good uh, trustees of America. I have mm -hmm. to ask you, um, you turned 81 this week, happy okay. birthday. You're still at DU at the Institute for Public Policy Studies. How long do you plan to keep working and writing and <laughs> thinking and talking about these things? Well, there's a, a famous guy down at Colorado College called Bill Hockman, and he taught up until he was 88 or something. I watch my students' evaluation very closely. I mean, I do not want to be a burden to DU. I, I want to make sure that I'm earning my, um, earning my way. But um, there is something about being the next governor that uh, a lot of our students um, uh, think is uh, inspiring. And so I, I'm, I'm, running, I'm coming to the end of my career, but I'm not there yet. Not there yet. Thank you so much. My pleasure.